You guys are watching NFL Daily. I am Tom Downey. That might have been a slight voice crack, by the way, but who cares? We're doing a mailbag. All of your questions answered here live. Some super chats to get to. James Havens, first up. Will the Cowboys trade for a receiver? I think they should be in the market for a, a wide receiver trade. I think that they have a need for it. Noah Brown's a bit nicked up. My gap's not quite right. They are thin anyway with other guys not playing all that much. Like, I think they should be. They should have been preseason, and they weren't. So I have to see it before I believe it at that point. Jameer CP, the time for the Tennessee Titans to make a change at quarterback. They've won four straight games. I can't get on board. Uh, they've been too successful as of late. Uh, you're winning football games. You don't make a change to bench your starter when you're winning games. Like, that's not how NFL teams operate, especially when they're paying them so much money. He's been their guy for so long. And your backup, I don't think, in Malik Willis is ready yet. I think he needs more time. Thunder 404, Giants trading for a wide receiver. What's the cost? Judy Moore. Jerry Judy? Second or third? DJ Moore, which I assume that's what you mean, not Elijah. Elijah's maybe a second, but the Jets are weird with their trade stuff. Uh, DJ Moore's a lot. They just paid him. He's super cheap. There'd be a bidding war. It's probably a first, second, and maybe more, if not like two firsts for DJ, because you don't trade away 25-year-olds under contract for several years who you just paid and are going to be the focal point of your offense. Michael. Broncos original second rounder for Bradley Chubb. I think Denver would do that deal in a heartbeat. I think that that's a that's a good offer, um, if not maybe too much of an offer. Seattle could use a high end pass rusher. They've had some issues there this year, despite the team being very successful. I I I like that idea for Bradley Chubb. From Ed Harrison, did the Panthers actually reject two firsts for Brian Burns? And when will they trade DJ Moore? Uh, let's go reverse order. DJ Moore first. I don't think they will. And I look, I, I might be wrong. Wouldn't be the first time, of course. But Carolina, despite other teams wanting him, Carolina just paid DJ Moore. He's 25 years old. He's a receiver one. He's got 3,000-yard seasons already. They saved no money this year with a trade. And whatever pick they would get for DJ Moore immediately goes to replacing him. That's not how NFL teams like to operate. Had they not paid DJ Moore, totally different conversation. But even if, as they rebuild, he's 25. He's still going to be the core piece at receiver once their rebuild is finished. And the same goes for Brian Burns. I think they did reject two first-round picks, but I think it was two firsts from the Rams. A few, two future firsts. That's very different value than a first this year and a first next year. So... I, I would be surprised if either of those core pieces, plus guys like Derek Brown and J.C. Horn, et cetera, got dealt by Carolina. Let's play over or under five and a half trades between right now and the NFL trade So that is five and a half more trades than what's already happened, right? O for over, U for under. Sound off in the comment. It's the pinned comment, by the way, so if the ad break comes, head down there and let me know. Aaron Martinez, what teams are the best fit for Kareem Hunt? Uh, maybe the Rams could make some sense. They're always aggressive. The Bills, uh, if Philadelphia wants to back, I think they're a decent idea. I would have said San Francisco, but you can cross them off the list. Also, he's not going back to KC. Let's be clear on that front. I think those teams, Bills, maybe, maybe Philly and L.A. stand out as obvious destinations, at least to me, for Kareem Hunt. John Kruger, Odell Beckham to Buffalo. I would not be surprised. Um, OBJ is, and Vaughn Miller have, have talked a lot. I know Vaughn wants Odell Beckham in, in Buffalo. The idea of your three-receiver set being Stephon Diggs, Gabe Davis, and Odell Beckham, man, that's scary. The Bills, I think, will, will make a push. Odell's going to wait. He's not healthy yet. Might not be till December even. Once he gets healthy, I think there could be a little... And I think Odell Beckham hopes there's a bit of a bidding war. All right. Today's show made possible by BetUS. Chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code NFL Daily. 125% deposit bonus when you put down at least 100 bucks. 100 bucks down gets you the, the deposit bonus. You can bet on games, player props, and defensive player of the year odds. Micah Parsons. The massive betting favorite at minus 125, honestly. The rest of those players at that value is insane. 
I, I, I think Micah wins the award, but that's a big gap between the Bosa's and Garrett's and Donald's and Crosby's of the world. Micah's been awesome this year, and he's got the hype around him too, so I think he wins. But there's some good value there for a futures bet. Head over to BetUS, chatsports.com slash bet, promo code NFL daily. Robert Bruce, hello, Jack, my Patriot brother. Hello, Tom. What is the Patriots' most glaring need right now other than quarterback? I'm thinking running back with Harris being injured every year. Might be offensive line right now with the way they're playing and some free agents coming up there. Uh, corner has outperformed my expectations. Still might list receiver as, as, as one of them. Offensive line stands out. Another premier edge or interior pass rusher, I think, is an area. Uh, I think running back's okay. I kind of like Pierre Strong in the pipeline. But you can spend a day three pick there again next year if you want. All right, from Zolan Helmerich, what positions should the Dolphins trade for? Ideally, offensive line. Here's the problem. It is tough to find quality available offensive linemen in, free, or in, in, in the trade market because there's a dearth of them, and teams don't like dumping them because they're tough to find and replace. So ideally, offensive line, slim market, though. We will be live for the NFL trade deadline once again this year. We'll be live on Tuesday, maybe Monday as well if people ask for it. So subscribe, youtube.com slash at chat sports. Hit that red button, or if you've got the new YouTube update, it's a black and white subscribe button. Click it, and then set your notifications to all so you don't miss out on anything here at NFL Daily. The RC Plane Builder. Who should the Falcons trade for to fortify the developing defensive line? I would love Deron Payne in particular. I think he's a great run stopper, fits the defensive scheme, can help out Grady Jarrett, can still be a three-down player. That's the name I would keep an eye out for. Toxic Redneck 44, Texans draft Will Anderson and trade up for Bryce Young. I love it. Uh, we'll see where that Browns pick ends up slotting in, but I'm going to check right now to see exactly where it is. Um, but you've got your own first-round pick. That could easily end up being the first pick in this year's NFL draft. As of right now, that Browns pick is number five. Picks four, five, and six are all uh, are all traded right now. How about that? Saints to Philadelphia, Cleveland to Houston, and Denver to Seattle. And those teams aren't good. Oh, boy. So if that pick stays top five, you can go get Bryce Young, too. That'd be awesome for Houston. All right, so Houston has number two pick right now in, in uh, Will Anderson, by the way. Evan Henders, Steelers trade a first-round pick, and Devin Bush for Montez Sweat, Logan Thomas, and a fourth-round pick. I think that's too much for Pittsburgh. Um, the first-round pick is a lot for Montez Sweat and Logan Thomas when you have Pat Fryermuth already. Um, Devin Bush playing better, by the way. If you make it a lesser pick and maybe don't take the fourth-round pick back, it makes more sense, but that could be a top-ten pick for, for Pittsburgh. I think that's too much for, for them. Tom, I'm going to go with L. Rady, as in like Tom L. Tom Brady. Uh, more likely, and who would you rather trade for? Hunt, Cream Hunt, or Cam Akers? Bit of a typo there. That's okay, Tom. Um, Cream Hunt. Cr Cam Akers, he's been bad since that Achilles. I'm sorry. Like, his numbers in the season are terrible. Under three yards. I know the offense line is bad. Hunt, at his peak, is better than anything Akers has done, despite the hype for the early round draft pick. So, I go Cream Hunt, who I also think. I think Akers, though, is maybe more likely since I think Rams might take anything for him right now if they just want to move on. So what do you guys think? Pick a running back you, you would rather trade for. C.A. for Cam Akers or K.H. for Kareem Hunt. John Dorman, Chase Claypool to Chicago for a 3-5. Three, three I assuming 3 and 5, that's, I think, pretty decent value. Uh, overall for what Claypool should be worth, not what the Pittsburgh Steelers allegedly want there. Um, I also could see Chicago just not being buyers right now and saying we'll spend our money in draft picks next year and not add talent right now. We'll just roll with what we got because we're not good. We, we want to keep what's going to be an early third-round pick for us, potentially early, early third-round pick. From Noah, I thought the Eagles were going for Brian Burns, but I'm fine with Robert Quinn. I believe the Eagles called and tried to get Brian Burns. And I think Carolina told them no. So they pivoted and then went to, to Quinn. 
Again, I don't think Carolina's going to deal Burns. I think that an insanely high asking price. So pivoting to Quinn is still a win for Philly. Zaire Brown, call me crazy. How about the Cowboys at least call about DeAndre Hopkins? There's nothing wrong with calling. You, you sh as a smart teams will at least call to see what the value is. Here's the issue. Arizona's a contender still. They've paid Kyler Murray. They've extended their GM and their head coach. They're not tanking. Bill O'Brien's not their GM. Good, good joke there, Jack. They are a game out of uh, A, the wild. They're actually a, a tiebreaker out of the wild card right now in the NFC and a game back of the division lead. They're not going to sell at this point. Dan Johnson, the Dolphins trade Mike Gesicki. I think they'd have to eat a lot of that contract. It's not a good deal. It's the $10.93 million franchise tag. That's the, the, the base salary this year, so it's the pro amount is over the new team, be five, six million, somewhere in that range. It's a lot for, half, for a half year of Mike Kosicki. So I, if, they, if they eat the money, maybe, but I wouldn't get my hopes up. What big-time player do you think will end up being traded? Sound off in the comments. Drop that name. Shock Universe, best fit for Bradley Chubb. Texans, Panthers, or Patriots? Neither, or none of the above. Because those are, I'm, I'm sorry, Jack. Those are not good football teams. The Texans are not, are not a contender. Neither is Carolina. Neither is New England. Now, New England's the closest, and they could use the pass rusher the most to try and win some football games. But Chubb's a free agent after this year. It doesn't make sense for non-contenders who should be selling to acquire a, a rental player. You know, a team like, obviously, Philadelphia's a list, a team like Kansas City, uh, a team like Tennessee even, a, a team like Seattle, as weird as that sounds to say out loud, the Ravens, the, the, the Rams, those teams, the buyers make sense for Chubb, not the sellers. Vince, which team is one trade away from joining the Buffalo, KC, and Philadelphia in Tier 1? And which player does that team need? Man, that's a good question. Um, can Minnesota get a premier number one lockdown corner? I don't know if that exists on the trade market right now. Um, can Dallas get a DJ Moore caliber receiver? Can Miami get a stud offensive lineman? Can Tampa get whatever it is they're missing that they don't have right now on the roster? Can the Rams get a stud offensive lineman? Can Green Bay get a competent receiver and get their offensive line fixed out in the meantime? I think some of those teams, there's a lot of, their, like, you're right, Tier 1, the good teams are Bills, Eagles, Chiefs. The rest of the, that grouping, the Niners, I think, in that mix too, potentially, they're close, but I think they all have, like, one more than one glaring obvious need right now or issue. Could be solved internally, or they could get hot at the right time, just like the Bengals and Rams did last year. 